Hello my friends, I'm Jihondo, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Aurora. This is episode 36. Uh, this will actually be a pretty short episode, uh, it's really just a status update. At the end of episode 35, I mentioned I was going to do some things off camera, and they are taking way longer than I thought. So I thought I'd just pop in a quick video here just to show you what I've done so far, and then we can have an idea uh, when we'll be getting back to an actual proper series, uh, once I've done all the stuff I mentioned I was going to do. So, right off the bat, um, let's start with Laban here. I have finished converting them all over to the human ice cubes. Um, we were not obviously able to completely reduce their infrastructure need because it is still just a little bit too cold. Um, but that's still pretty good. Um, but either way, they are 100% done and everything's transferred over, so they're all good. Um, on Venus, I'm still in process of switching them over from the uh, regular population over to the human furnaces, which is what I called the uh, the new race I designed with heat. Um, one thing I did notice with it when I was doing that heat, actually, I'll show you real quick here, is that for some reason, and it completely eludes me, if you look at the temperature, actually not in the range, in the base temperature, um, for some reason heat can only go to 75, yet cold could go to 90, which I thought was very, very strange. But anyway, so I have set them to the maximum. Um, they still need a ton of infrastructure, but that's not even necessarily the temperature, although the temperature is still really high. Um, it's more the uh, atmospheric pressure. Um, I've, as you can see, I've already brought this down quite a bit. These were both 50, um, but we still have a long way to go. At this point, the, the real problem on this planet, in addition to the temperature, is just the absolutely incredibly thick atmosphere. It'd probably feel like walking through rubber, like it would just be brutal. Um, but anyway, so that is in progress. Um, let's see, what else have I done? Oh, uh, to actually get the work done on Venus, um, I have built some construction brigades, uh, which is something I had, I'm not sure if I had even researched them the last time I was recording, but either way, I have brought them. Now, the one thing I'll mention about the brigades, if I look on Earth here at the training, uh, you'll probably notice that the construction brigade, bleh, brigades are size 25, whereas the normal ones are just 5. That meant the kilo could not actually carry one. So I scrapped the kilo and designed the mega. Um, so basically very, very similar. The only real difference is obviously I put 10 troop transports on instead of a single one. And obviously it's using a more modern engine. I, I probably gave it more fuel too. I don't actually remember what the old one had, but... Either way, it's basically the identical ship. It's still just for moving troops around, but it can actually move around stuff other than just single garrison units, so it's much more useful. Um, on the subject of ships, the other thing I did is I got rid of the old octopus fleet, which were my old terraformers. In fact, I can actually now just delete this class entirely. Um, these ones used to have 10 terraformer modules apiece, and the new ones, the terraformer plus, have 100. So these get things done 10 times as fast. Um, obviously they have much better drives because they're newer, so they go faster, which obviously I like. Um, but the main thing is while they are, they still do have to sit around a planet for a long, long, long time. The difference is for with two of these ships and halfway decent commanders, we are able to, to change 1.04 atmospheres per year, which basically means that if uh, yeah, 1.04. So if you look, for example, on Earth, where everything is, you know, the way we like it, we're generally considered atmosphere one, That's so that's Earth standard. I could completely strip all of Earth's atmosphere in a year with two of those ships. That's incredible. Having said that, Venus is still going to take about 100 years just to get rid of this stuff that I have to add proper stuff. So I still figure about 90 more years before this is actually, you know, human survivable, but... Anyway, I just want to bring everybody up to speed on that. Uh, you'll probably also notice I have retagged all the asteroids and planets with minerals, um, and I am slowly working my way through with the mining fleet to get those done, but obviously that takes quite a while. But it's in process. We're working on it. So um, in terms of research, oh, um, I have researched a few more things. I'm working on an, a mining bonus right now. I got research rate up to 1,000, so that's helped quite a bit. And I've researched just a couple uh, little things, like sensors and that sort of thing. Just minor stuff, mostly. Um, nothing really game-breaking, obviously. Um, 
So at this point, I'm just generally researching kind of useful stuff. I'm still looking to try and figure out where the other shields are. Um, I come down here to absorption shields um, because I don't have absorption shield strength as an option yet, and I'm not sure where that comes from. So I'm still not sure if that's something that requires just more of this and then it appears or if it needs some other technology. Um, one interesting one actually, once I, I started researching a little bit more of the lasers, um, and you can actually see it here. So I'm far enough in the laser tree now that I can actually put lasers on missiles. I'm not entirely sure how that would work, but it certainly sounds cool. So I'm starting to think maybe this is the shield issue is something similar where I have to get far enough in some other technology to unlock it. I just have no idea what that technology may be, but either way, I'm still working my way through all these. So I just want to do this quick status update. Um, the regular series will resume once I've got Venus completely transferred over. Um, and yeah, that's where we are. So thanks to everyone for watching this little status update, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.